Hello friends, this video on light part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. What does a virtual image give one situation where a virtual image is formed? So in case of a virtual image, the reflected rays do not, inter do not meet at a point but they appear to meet. So these images cannot be obtained on the screen and they are always formed on the other side of the mirror. And I mean they are not formed on the same side as that of the object. So you can see here, this is the object on this side and the image is formed on the other side. So the rays do not actually meet and actually they appear to be diverging away from each other. But when you try to extrapolate them and try them to I mean, somehow make them meet by dotted lines. So it appears as if they are meeting at this point. So this is an example of a virtual image. So plane mirrors always give virtual image. Question number seven. State two differences between a convex and a concave lens. So obviously convex lens is a converging lens because here the rays of light uh, appear to meet at a point after uh, refraction and this is a diverging lens because the rays diverge away, they spread away from each other. In convex lens appearance wise it is like middle at the uh, center I mean thicker at the middle and than the edges whereas in case of concave lens it is thicker at the edges than at the middle. So looking at this you can very easily distinguish between the two. Question number eight give one use each of a concave and a convex mirror. So when you talk about a concave and convex mirror, concave mirror is the converging mirror and convex mirror is the diverging mirror. So when you talk about the rear view mirror of a car, there we use convex mirror because it produces uh, diminished images. It produces diminished erect images. That's why it is used in the rear view mirrors of car. Whereas when you talk about the dentist mirror, so there we need enlarged images and that is why concave mirror is used because we want to keep the mirror very close to the object so that time we get enlarged erect images. Question number nine. Which type of mirror can form a real image? So convex mirror can never form because it always forms virtual images. So only concave mirror can form real images at a lot of locations. Question number 10. Which type of lens forms always a virtual image? So the concave lens will always form a virtual image because convex lens for certain object positions it will form real image, for certain object positions it will form virtual image. But when it comes to concave lens, it will always form virtual diminished erect images. Question number 11. A virtual image larger than the object can be produced by a concave lens, concave mirror, convex mirror or plane mirror. Obviously it is not plane mirror because plane mirror always produces same size image. Uh, if you talk about concave lens, it always produces virtual image but diminished image. So it is not concave lens. You talk about convex mirror, that is also not the case because convex mirror also produces diminished images. So the right answer is concave mirror. Question number 12. David is observing his image in a plane mirror. The distance between the mirror and his image is 4 meters. If he moves one meter towards the mirror, the distance between David and his image will be, we have to choose one of these options. So let's first draw David. Let's say this is David and this is the mirror. So David is able to see his image here. So this is David, which is object and this is image, right? So initially what happens, David is standing in front of the mirror and the distance between the mirror and his image is 4 meters. So basically this distance is 4 meters, right? Now, later what happens after some time? After some time, the mirror is still at the same position, but now David moves 1 meter towards the mirror. So now David is here. So it, he has moved closer to the mirror. So his image 
is formed here now. So now we have to calculate the distance between David and his image. So in the initial scenario, if the distance of the image from the mirror is 4 meter, what would be the distance of the object from the mirror? That will also be 4 meter because in case of plane mirrors, the image distance is equal to the object distance. Correct. Now later what happens, David is moving one meter closer to the mirror. That means what, what is the distance of David from the mirror now? It will be three meter because one meter he has already covered. So what will be the distance of the image from the mirror? That will also be three meters. So therefore what would be the distance between David and its image? It will be three plus three which is equal to six meters. So six meters would be the right answer. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson on light and I hope that this would have helped you. Uh, so I would urge that all of you should concentrate on light very well because it is something which you are going to study in till your higher classes and every time you learn about right, light, you will learn certain things in more detail. So it is very important that your basic concepts are clear. So please understand the concepts, try to solve some problems on your own, try to observe things around yourself, try to observe uh, different types of mirror which you see around you and that would help you in better understanding. So I hope this would have helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.